Hi guys and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Today what we're going to be making is beef stroganoff, but I'm going to make two different dishes. And what that means is one is going to be just beef stroganoff and the other one is going to be keto, so it's going to be low carb. So what we're going to do is we're going to brown ground round beef and also ground turkey. We're going to use two different pots for that and I will show you what that looks like in just a minute. But we're going to start out with two tablespoons of butter in each pan. And again what we're going to do is we're just going to clip the tops of these rolls off. I can get under this. And we're going to dump these in the pan. Here's my ground turkey. Now I just have to open the ground beef. And then what I'm going to do is use my turkey masher in each pan. Of course, I'm going to wash it after I do the turkey and then use it on the ground beef so I'm not cross-contaminating because that's very bad. Now I'm going to sprinkle about half a teaspoon of salt and pepper in each pot. Now stir each pot. What we're going to do now is we're going to get out the garlic. We're going to take four cloves of garlic. We're going to separate them in half. So two are going to go in the pot with the ground beef and the other two are going to go in the pot with the ground turkey. We're gonna chop up all four cloves, but we're just going to divide them. So as you can see, I chopped the garlic and I divided it in half. Now I'm going to take a whole medium-sized onion and I'm going to chop it up and I'm also going to divide it in half. So there's one for each pot. So instead of removing the ground beef and the ground turkey out of their pots prospectively, what I actually did is I just opened up a hole in the center of the meat in both pots and I put the chopped garlic and the chopped onion in it. And I took some video of that so you could see what I mean. And then I stirred it around a little bit to saute it. Now I'm going to season the meat in each pot with one teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. And because ground turkey is such a lean meat, what I did is I added olive oil to the one pot and I blended it up or I stirred it up so that all the flavors will add together because it was starting to get a little bit dry. What I did is I added a quarter cup of white wine to each pot and then I turned the burners down to medium low for both burners. Now we're going to sprinkle approximately one tablespoon of cornstarch over each pot over the entire dish. And then just give that a stir. Ah. 
Next, you're going to add the beef broth, or in my case, the vegetable broth, the Worcestershire sauce, can't say that, the stevia, and the seasonings to each pot. And I wanted to make mention that while I add Worcestershire sauce to the beef pot, what I'm going to add to mine is low sodium soy sauce. So one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce in the beef pot and one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce in the ground turkey pot. And for the low sodium, I'm just using Kikoman. What we're adding now is one half teaspoon each of dried rosemary, thyme, and smoked paprika. Now add one teaspoon of ground mustard. And I know you guys already know this, but as a reminder, it's to each pot. And then give it a stir and add one tablespoon of stevia to each pot. We are adding this, doing this a little bit different than what the recipe calls for. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take four ounces of cream cheese because it takes longer to cook and to melt down or blend together. And I'm just going to put four ounces each in each pot. And um, I'm going to allow it to blend and melt and blend together. And now I'm going to add just a half a cup of sour cream to each pot. And because I just realized I just ran out of sour cream, now it's time to get creative. So what I've decided to use instead of sour cream is one half cup of mayonnaise. I took video of that and I showed it to you. You can use it cup for cup or half cup for half cup because it has a very delicious flavor, I guess I would say. And it tastes really delicious. It tastes good. It's going to blend with the cream cheese. So you're not really going to be missing the sour cream at all. You guys can probably hear my fan running in the background. It is hot here. Um, so anyway, I took video on both of the pots uh, that I created for the beef and turkey stroganoff, and I wanted to show you guys what that looks like. But what I'm going to do now is move those off the burner, and I'm going to chop up some zucchini in a pan with some butter, and I'm going to half it. So I'm going to put half in the beef stroganoff, and the other half is going to go in the turkey stroganoff. Now I'm going to stir in one and a half tablespoons of tomato paste to each pot. What I'm doing with this recipe is I'm sauteing zucchini because I'm using zucchini instead of mushrooms because I actually ran out of mushrooms. And so I want to show you what it looks like sauteing in the pan. Now for the beef stroganoff, I'm going to use spiral noodles, which is just regular white flour noodles. And then of course for the ground turkey beef stroganoff, what I'm going to use is my low carb shirataki tofu noodles. So what I'm doing is I'm boiling a pot of water on high until it boils. And then I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to the water so that it makes the noodles not stick together. And then I'm going to drain them and I'm going to add it to the beef stroganoff. And because the zucchini has finished cooking, what I did is I divided it in half into both pots evenly or equally so that you can see what that looks like. I took some video of that and hopefully that should be pretty good.
So now I'm going to drain my shirataki noodles into my colander, my strainer, and then I'm going to add those noodles into my ground turkey uh, stroganoff pot. And that's what my ground turkey beef stroganoff pot looks like. Since the sauces are finished, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one teaspoon of lemon juice to each pot. Okay guys, so I'm still waiting on the noodles for the other dish, which is the beef stroganoff, but I'm gonna try my turkey stroganoff because I can eat that. And let's see how it is. I'll tell you guys if I made a good recipe this time or not. Sometimes our fail, sometimes our success. It just all depends on the recipe that you're creating. Not every recipe is gonna be good, but sometimes they're gonna be delicious. delicious and if you want because i don't put much salt or pepper in there you can always add more salt and pepper because personally i think I, it needs it but i can't really have a lot of salt and pepper so very good voila and with that i'm going to end the show today i go hope you guys have enjoyed keto in the kitchen with jasmine and that's another one for the record books so have a good one guys bye